Hi everybody, Janie Burkett here to show you how to actually set up your party with both Facebook and post my party to have one of our Facebook parties. So the first thing that you want to do is um, go ahead and set up your party with Facebook. So I'm going to share my screen for a large portion of this so you guys can actually see how it looks. So one second while I share my screen. Okay, so I am going to come over here to Facebook, and normally if I'm on my home screen here, I would just come over, oh look, Mark and Tammy Smith, BFFs, they <laughs> have a post there, um, but what I'm going to do is come over to the events um, over on the left-hand side, and I would just create a new event. Now, I've already done that, so I want to bring you down here to where that is. And it's called Janie's Fake Facebook Party. <laughs> so we get real creative here. And so what you'll see is I have this photo that says, Welcome to the Party. And you guys can absolutely have access to that photo. So you can have um, a graphic like that. You're also, of course, free to create your own graphic um, if you would like to. And um, sorry about the background noise that we're getting, but um, we are have a lot of people at the house right now. Um, but what I what you'll see is that I have this starting tomorrow night at 9 p.m. in our time zone. Um, the place I put is your comfy place, but you can say um, from wherever you are or from your phone, comfort of your own phone, whatever you whatever you want to put there. And then I have a description of what the party is. Um, it's going to be Wednesday at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Central, and you, you know I'm the host. And so just a little description of what we have going on here. And then also you'll see I've already created my very first post, which is my welcome video. And um, I actually recorded a tutorial on how to create the welcome video and how to um, post it on here. So you guys can watch that to see how, how we posted it if you want to. So I've created my Facebook event. So that's the first thing that you want to do. And as you can see from over here, I have only myself going. I haven't invited in anybody yet because I want to kind of get all my ducks in a row. Um, I will show you a couple things I have on um, the settings here. Is I have that only... Um, Guests can invite friends. I want to uncheck that. I do not want my guests to be able to invite friends. The reason is because, remember, we are going to personally invite everybody. I don't want to have some um, guest get really excited and jazzed up about this and invite 100 of their closest friends <laughs> because then we run into where we might have too many people on the event or we might um, even have uh, you know, people annoyed that they were invited and things like that. So I, I do not want them to be able to invite friends. However, if let's say that I am doing this for a three-year free party for a customer, and of course I would want my customer to be able to invite their friends to this, um, I could simply add them as a co-host, and then a, the co-host co is able to invite their friends. So let's say my preferred customer is Jacob Burkett, there he is, I can make him a co-host, and now he can um, invite his friends as well, even if I'm not friends with them. Okay, so now my Facebook party is set up. So now what I need to do is come over to post my party, and I need to import um, the template. So let me show you guys how to import the template. First of all, I have to have the template shared with me by somebody else who has a post my party account so um, and it can only be shared from a post my party account to a post my party account so um, if you have not set up your post my party account yet um, and you ask me to share the template with you the answer is no I can't not because I'm a big fat jerk <laughs> but because I physically cannot, okay? So it is, it is only from one, so, so some of you have asked me, hey, will you share that with me? And I said, no, you have to set up your Post My Party account first. It's not just me being, um, you know, a stickler or anything like that. It's because it can only be shared from one PMP account to another. So um, what you'll see is Jacob shared with me the um, Post My Party template, and um, 
what you'll see is it's a link here. So first of all, notice that it came from post my party support. So that's, that's number one, is it's not gonna come from, if I share a template with you, it's not gonna come from Jamie Burkett, it will come from post my party support. So note that. Um, also because of that, it can very easily be in your junk folder, so check there. So what I do is I just come down to this link right here, and it is going to pull up my post my party account. Okay, wonderful. So, um, let me see. Let me go back because I was not logged in. I'm gonna need to click on this again now that I'm logged in. Okay, so here Jacob has shared um, the template with me. Now what I have to do is um, I have to do a whole lot of copying and pasting. So this is the one step that you probably could not figure out by yourself um, if, unless somebody told you what to do. I could for sure not figure out this until somebody told me what to do. What you have to do is you have to um, copy everything that's from the original message into the new message. So I simply click um, copy and now I click paste. And so I just keep doing this until I, I do it all. So I keep going copy and down here I go paste. And you'll notice the photo um, for these pictures is exactly the same. Now notice some of these things um, might have different times than what your party is. This is not the time to go and edit any messages. Again, this is the template. So this is not your party necessarily. This is a template that you're going to use as a master copy. And so I just keep copying and pasting all of these things until I get to the end. I want to show you um, getting to um, a URL, what that looks like. So, so far we're just having to copy and paste the message. And one more, we'll copy and paste this message. Okay, and now, okay, we have a website link. So this is a URL to a YouTube video. So same thing, I want to, where it says original, I want to copy that and then paste it right here where the link is. So I simply select that, copy it, and now I paste it. Now I must also do the same to the message. Okay, so I won't sit here and make you guys look at every last one of these. Okay, but this is how you, import a template into your template database. So um, I had it over here on Chrome. Okay, so here is my um, dashboard of post by party. You'll see I have a section for parties, party templates, my account and some support things. So if I look over at my party templates, if I look at my list, here is the um, Miriam party version two is what I imported from Jacob. And it is all here and ready to go. So again, I don't really want to do too much editing to this particular template um, because I want to be able to change it for every specific party. I don't want to have to go in and change a whole bunch of things every time. So what I do to create my party with Post My Party is simply click on the Parties tab, click Schedule New, and here's where it says copy posts from a template and it's checked. I wanna keep that checked. I wanna click Miriam Party version two. This is from a personal event. And again, this is where um, Facebook has some privacy and security settings. You wanna make sure that your event is private and it's a closed event so people can only get on if they're invited. Um, and I want to choose my event. So if you'll, you'll notice I have all of these events that pop up in this drop down menu, but remember Janie's fake F, uh, Facebook party, that's the one we're doing. Now here is the tricky part. Remember my party is going to be um, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, the 27th at 9 p.m., right? So, when is this party starting? I actually want to say this party is starting today, 
Um, the reason is, is because we have a few pre-party posts that I want to include on here. So I'm actually going to say that it starts today because I am going to start having Facebook um, or post my party post in that Facebook event beginning today. Um, so, so we'll go ahead and, and do that. The time zone, of course, I have to pick that. I'm in central time zone. There I am. This replacements part, I have no idea what that means. Um, so I always skip it. <laughs> um, okay, so now I am in my party. And now here's where I can go and make some edits if I want to. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is you'll notice all of these posts are scheduled to post like my party starts at 8 p.m. Well, um, and here's the little date right here. Well, I don't want to have to change the time on each and every one of these, um, of these, of these uh, posts because that would take me forever. <laughs> so what you can do is scroll all the way down and adjust the time for all of them right here. So remember the start time of my very first post was 8 p.m. I want to say that my start time of my first post is 9 p.m. So that's adding a whole hour to the time. So I simply click that, adjust the hour, I click update, and bam, here's my party starting at 9 p.m. My 10 minutes until party time is here, and um, all of my posts here are adjusted so that my last post of my party, which is post number eight, it's shopping time, happens at 9.30, which is the end of the party. Um, I have another thank you post right after that, and then some posts the next day. So now I can go in and if I want to edit a couple of things, I can. So the first thing you'll, you'll notice is, again, my party is on July 27th. Um, you'll notice all of these posts are scheduled to start on July 28th. It's because these are scheduled to be on the third day of this party. So actually what I have to do is I have to go change all of these um, to be the second day. But the first thing I'm gonna do is change my first pre-party post. So this post right here, which is the picture, I want this to post today, and I would love for it to post at 5 p.m. today. So that's perfect. So I'm just going to change this to day one. Remember I said I was starting my party on July 26th. That makes today, July 26th, day one. So I simply change that, and look, it changes the date, July 26th. Okay, so now I can go and change all of these. So I simply click here and change all of them from day three to day two. One thing that you might encounter is um, as you're changing the day, you actually need to change the time first um, before you change the day. The reason being is because let's say I wanted this post to post on day one. Notice it will not let me do that. Why? You'll come up here and see because that schedule of that time is in the past. Day one is today on um, the 26th, and it was scheduled to post at 2 p.m. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's 3.30-ish. Um, so this is actually already, take. you know, 2 p.m. on the 26th is past. It's long gone. So if I wanted this post to post today, I would have to adjust the time to be a time later than it is. But I'm going to go ahead and post it tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, so I have this post is already changed. So now I just come in and, and change each and every one of these um, to be day two. So I won't change, um, I won't make you guys sit here and look at me changing all of those, but you get the idea. I would change all of these threes to twos and these fours to three. Okay? Um, then the next thing I would do, and this is super, super, super important, you cannot forget this step is you must change the messages a little bit for all of these messages. And you simply click on the little edit button right here to um, change the message. And um, what you wanna do is change at least, at least a few words or maybe a sentence. Um, so for this first one, it says for an ex extra entry into our drawing, 
pick the before and after you think is the most amazing. So I might say, I might just turn this whole thing around. I might say, um, pick which before after photo you like best and comment below for an extra entry into our raffle. Okay, so I didn't really change the idea, I just changed the sentence there, right? And then also, of course, I wanna come in here, it says tonight, I wanna make that say tomorrow because this is scheduled to post today and tomorrow is actually when the party is. Um, so I just wanna change that. Okay, great. So each one of these I would have to go change Again, if you look at our Facebook tips, the number one thing to change with all of the numbered posts is you must add something before the number you must to make it different. Um, and then the sentence immediately following the number, you must change. Um, you must do that or Facebook security algorithm will kick you out and you'll be super stressed out. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. So please, 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 make sure you change those numbers. I always, just to cover my tracks after I do changes, I click on update at the bottom. Um, and then I would be ready to go with my party. So let me um, come back over here. So that's really it for um, how you set up a Facebook party. The um, last thing that I would tell you as just a hint is sometimes people say, well, how do people order? Um, how are they going to get started? Well, the um, number eight post, which says um, it's shopping time, that what it will prompt them to do is respond yes if they want to order something into the Facebook post. And so from there, you would just actually um, contact them individually and via phone or Facebook private messenger or text message and um, get what their order is, help them order, or even um, you know walk them through how they can get some of the volume discounts that Miriam now offers. So um, there's a lot of different things you can do, um, to, but you want to do that one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm not actually posting on the Facebook party my website link for people to go and post on. I'm actually just getting them to see if they want to buy the product or become a brand partner. And if so, then I'm going to take that next step to give that one-on-one -on -one kind of interaction to, um, to give them a little more high touch so that I can um, get their order for them, help them get taken care of, or um, hopefully sign them up as a brand partner. So that is how you set up a party. This can be very confusing. If you have questions, don't worry about it. Definitely try for yourself first. That's always my number one um, my, my number one feedback is at least try it for yourself first. If you have some questions, please do not hesitate um, to reach out, reach up, and let's um, get your questions answered. So happy partying to everybody, and let's set up some parties. Have a great day.